Hello and happy birthday, Gemini. We're getting ready to do a love of the sun, moon, rising, and Venus of Gemini. And this is for the collective. It won't resonate with everybody, or parts of it will and parts of it won't. So check out all your signs. Let's take a look and see what's happening in love. Let's see. So the first card out of the deck, what a start, Gemini, your card. Here you are in your reading. The lover's card is a mutual energy between you and a loved one in the recent past. It's all about making decisions. The three of cups, the current energy is that you may be having a reunion. You might be having a party but it looks like you're having a lot of fun with somebody with your person and there's just a very magical time for the two of you your person is viewing the situation with queen of swords energy very analytical very libra energy we have the three of cups of course is cancer they view you as a person look at this the six of cups they view you as someone gemini that they could spend their life with that they'd like to grow old with if you haven't seen each other in a while it does look like a reunion is in progress so if not you're just having a great time in the relationship your person in their heart space is feeling very worried, very all up in their head. You may be dealing with another Gemini. They feel as though there's some sort of problem or issue that needs to be addressed in their heart space. They also have some remorse and regret about some things that have been said or done. Your person, a lot of analytical energy here for your person. The sun card is how they view the two of you and the relationship moving forward. They feel as though you are uh, a huge part of their happiness. It's Leo energy. It really speaks to the fact that your person feels very joyful, very happy. They want to see you. They want to make love. They just feel as though when they are in your presence, the two of you are together. Life is a special and beautiful place. The mutual energy that is hidden is both of you are seeking clarity, both of you want to make a decision. Again, this can be contact if you haven't had contact for a while. It's uh, a lot of clarity, you know, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I love this energy. Both of you are very, very strong in your desire to do the right thing, to be the right thing. Spirit is telling you that this relationship has a potential to go the distance. We have what Spirit is saying, the suggestion is um, invest, invest big. This is a good relationship. This is a relationship in which it looks like the two of you have good communication. And if you don't, that is something that you will be working on uh, to get clarity. Both of you are beautifully intentioned. You both love each other. You, you know, there are issues at hand, but we're going to look and see what that is. When we, Spirit is suggesting that you create a legacy relationship, make room for a big life together, make room for abundance, make room for two careers, maybe even two families or a family together, make room for a dog. The dog symbolizes loyalty and this uh, Ten of Pentacles energy is energy that represents Virgo energy. We also see that your outcome at this time is another analytical card. We're looking at the energy of the King of Swords. The King of Swords, I, this always reminds me very much of like a Dr. Doolittle kind of energy. Sort of, you know, speak to the animals or speak, really like there's telepathic communication between the two of you. We also get the Eight of Wands. They both came out at the same time, so they're both your energies. We see that both of you are going to move in the direction of being very communicative. The Eight of Wands is all about communication. You may actually take a trip or travel together. You may be discussing it. We do have Mercury retrograde right now, so it could be there could be a little delay in that. But when we get the King of Swords energy, it's Aquarius energy, and it's having, again, great clarity, all the tools, all the wisdom to make this relationship work. So overall, I'm seeing your partner being in a state of worry, concern. Let's see why, okay? Let's take a look at this. 
let's see what's going on. Why is your person coming in with this Libra energy? This Your person really feels as though you, the two of you need to be very balanced in your approach to your relationship at this time. You know, you are very much more, you know, sort of in this happy-go-lucky energy. Let's see. Okay, so the Nine of Cups energy. So your person is thinking about the level of happiness that the two of you have. You're, that's very Pisces energy. The Nine of Cups is also a card. You know, it's all about being happy. It's about being joyful. We also have your energy. They feel as though they've never been happier than they are with you. And it's interesting because I feel like your person is very intellectual. They are trying to manifest you. They want to manifest you. And I want to look and see what's going on here in their energy that makes them so analytical. <laughs> it's a little bit the Queen of Swords energy is, is analytical. So your person feels as though they haven't always been the most mature or the most communicative. Your person may feel as though they're in the early stages of love. They may feel as though the two of you have to re begin again. But the Page of Cups energy is an energy of you know, got a fish in a cup, <laughs> a fish in a cup which represents love, um, but they're not really certain. You have a very powerful reading. You've got the sun card, the lover's card, you know, you have the magician card. So it's quite interesting. We're going to really delve into your person because they seem to be struggling here. So let's see why we have the nine of swords for your person. Why is your person feeling regret, remorse? feeling a lack mentality, really feeling as though, yeah, temperance energy. So they want, it looks as though the two of you may have had time apart, and it looks as though very much your person wants a reconciliation. Why are, are why is Gemini's person so up in their head? Why is Gemini's person having all these feelings of remorse and regret? I feel very much that they did not think that they were balanced with you, that something that happened or was triggered in the relationship at a moment of surprise and happiness uh, really came um, sort of on, they had a bad reaction to something, and I think they're having remorse and regret. We get the Cancerian energy of the High Priestess. So it shows that you seem to be very calm here, and they're not quite sure why. They're not sure why you are very comfortable with the energy right now. Um, why are they? They really want a new beginning with you. They want to have that beautiful fun with you, the place in the sun with you. And it does look as though there has been some sort of disagreement in which somebody has walked away uh, at a time when you were like at this peak, the peak of good energy. So I don't really see an argument per se. I almost feel as though the two of you thought you were having a really good time. You were, you thought you were on the same page and all of a sudden something went sideways. And you know, that happens sometimes, right? sometimes four of wands. Your person views you as a person that they would like to have in their life for a very long time. This is honeymoon energy, the sun card, going on the beach. This can also mean, Gemini, that your person wants to go somewhere with you on a vacation to have a new beginning. They feel very much as though you are a cornerstone in their stability. They feel very much that to have you in their life is reason for celebration. We're also getting the, um, the strength card, Leo energy here twice. We're getting the death card. So again, I have two cards of ending here. And look at this. We have your person reflecting back that they would like to spend uh, the rest of their life with you or that to have you in their life as a lover, love interest. So let's see what we have here. Why do we have the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Why? What do we need to know about this King of Swords energy? There is something about the truth. When we look at the air sign energy, Libra Queen is all about the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Does this relationship serve me? This person, your person thinks that the relationship is very powerful. They are feeling as though um, 
the relationship wasn't as far along as they thought it was. Uh, it really is in the very early stages, still at least at an emotional level. You may have known each other for a long time, which I think many of you have, or it's one of those feelings of feeling like you've known someone forever and maybe you haven't. So your person, let's see why that page of cups is here. Why is your person feeling that? Again, they want that new beginning. Why do they feel it has to be a new beginning? Ah, uh, there's healing to be done. There was some heartbreak, something was said, something was done, something was very divisive here. I feel with this Nine of Swords being in your person's energy, they have done or said something that, that made you walk away. They're hoping it's not permanent. They're going to try to have all the right moves. We see this Emperor energy, they want to come in and they want to work things out. This is a negotiation. You know, when we look at the Three of Pentacles card, we're looking at the energy of people coming together and solving the problem. It's very positive energy. It's Capricorn energy. It's very down to earth. It's very basic, like get, getting back to basics because there were two different viewpoints that were radically different here. And Gemini, I feel like you were pretty happy. You know, you were going along and feeling like, hey, you know, things are pretty good. And I think we have a stable relationship. And, you know, you were just going forth. And I think what happened was something was said or done between the two of you that threw your person off really badly. And they didn't really see that, you know, the best of intentions were here because the sun, the ace of wands, your person knows now retrospectively that that was the case, but it does look like there is a sense that, you know, of just discontent, unhappiness, the Five of Cups, like an apology is owed. Okay, so does your person, let's see, why do they have the Five of Cups here? Uh, here's what's really interesting. Even though they think that an apology is owed, they also want a new beginning. The problem that I see here, though, is that they might gloss over it and hop right into this passion, right, and the romance, and a talk needs to happen. Some sort of communication really needs to happen at this time. Let's look and see what Wisdom of the Oracle is saying to us about this relationship right now. What is the advice from Wisdom of the Oracle? Let's see, what is the advice? How does this, okay, unfinished symphony. So this relationship is not over by any means. Both of you still want this relationship, Gemini. Come to the edge. Oh, both of you are being required to take a risk in a way that you've never taken it before. Both of you may have had a history of, you know, failed relationships or at least a recent failure in a relationship. And both of you are feeling very vulnerable with each other. And you are vulnerable with each other. You know, the lover's card tells us that you've opened up and look at all this passion, all this intensity. So this is a very intense relationship. And of course, you know... Murphy's Law, something goes wrong, but that's the, that's the way things can happen. So let's see what else we have. Ah, all that glitters is not gold. So something is not as it seems. So what this is telling us is that somebody in the relationship, and I don't feel it's you, Gemini. I feel that this person came into the relationship with some baggage and some really preconceived ideas that got turned on their head as the two of you were going forward. So let's look and see what we think the solution is to all of this. Let's look and see. Let's see. This is the Sacred Destiny Oracle card. So what is the advice from Spirit in this relationship at this time for Gemini and their beloved? The love relationship is intense. It's very interesting that your person feels that there's some, the Page of Cups energy. Because when we look at the Magician, it's very masterful energy. When we look at the Nine of Cups, it's quite happy. The Fool card, a lot of Major Arcana. So your person, let's see about that. Yeah, openness. They weren't open with you. There were some secrets because we have a moon there, right? And the moon is, see, you know, some secrets. Your person, it may not... They may have really not understood a part of themselves 
you know, it wasn't necessarily that they were deceptive, but some of them appeared to be open and they weren't. Relaxation. Okay, so the advice is of spirit is to relax, to take time out, to talk to one another. We're going to look at the advice for you specifically at this time, Gemini, as soon as we finish this last. Yeah, abundance. This is a beautiful relationship, Gemini. This has all the marks of something that could really be happily ever after, that could really give you your, your hopes and your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. We're really getting the energy that this has all the potential in the world. So let's see how you should deal with what's going on because I'm seeing your person is all up in their head. You seem to be pretty calm. <laughs> you know? Gemini, you seem to be very calm. You're very clear about what you want, what you will accept, what you won't accept. You have a lot of clarity in the situation. And what I'm seeing is that, you know, your energy also is very much very clear cut energy that you, you know, you want something very positive. So support, lean on your inner circle during this time, Gemini. What else do we have for Gemini and love at this time? Leap of faith. There we go. So when we see king, uh, when we see leap, uh, we see, excuse me, come to the edge. When we look at the fool card, spirit is actually saying, go ahead and take the leap of faith with your person. Because it does look like they're going to come in with this reconciliation energy with this temperance card. They're going to ask for another chance. And um, you have a chance for a rebirth to transform the relationship. Okay, and here we have one person is giving too much to the relationship. Gemini, I really feel that that is you. Um, I feel very much, let's clarify that card. Um, one per, you know, you've been very supportive of your person, but there could be an age difference for many of you, okay? There's certainly a maturity difference because when we get the page energy twice in this reading, it seems to be very focused on your person. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull one more card or a couple cards from the heart of the uh, fairy oracle by Brian and Wendy Frood to see what's going on with your person because there is something here that you really need to know in, in terms of how you can make this relationship, you know, really manifest. It's already manifested quite strongly, but now it seems like, you know, you have some tricky, tricky maneuvering to do. What is it that you don't see? The dreaming. So your person feels as though you're... Um, Somebody that they always dreamed about, you know, what they've had with you has been a wish granted. They see you as a lady of song, so they really see you as someone who adds to their life. Um, but when we see all that is gold is not, all that glitters is not gold, what secret, what secret is your person keeping from you? Queen of the day. It's almost as though they have two, right? There's night, there's day. The person that they've presented to you is not the person that they are all of the time. So I'm going to, oh no, I think I don't have it handy. Ah, I do have it handy. I'll be right back. Okay. We're going to look at the Al Goliath tarot deck. And this is a shadow deck, so it really illuminates a lot of what we can't see in the regular tarot cards. And I really love this deck. It's a very powerful deck. It really speaks to the uh, psychological archetypes that your person, I think, is going through. So let's look at this deck. Well, I wasn't ready for this. You had such a beautiful reading, and you still do. Obviously. So let's see what is a deep dive here. What is going on with your person that is the shadow that they're not really showing you? They've had a little bit of a false front here with you. There's something that's going on here that has everything to do with them and very little to do with you. So, what is the secret that Gemini needs to know about their person? Knight of Wands. Okay. So we have the kind-hearted moose. So this is very sweet energy, but this is the energy of a person who 
really feels or they're more about you know it's about the passion it's about living in the moment it's about the joyfulness of now so that would make sense right because for some reason your person thought that or thinks that you are looking for very long term and what they really didn't tell you is that they may not have ever intended to be long term in your life which is a huge problem for many of you temperance card says that they're coming in to this beautiful energy of the koi fish, the, you know, yin yang energy. So what I'm seeing here is your person is feeling as though they don't want to do without you. They want you. They want everything about you. They feel a really strong desire to be married to you or to have a very, very strong uh, long-term committed relationship. But we see the karmic soul tribe, the family. Okay. So what we have here, now this is a shadow work. Your person has, A, they have shadow work to do. So there's things from their childhood that have not created the kind of balance that they need to be able to fulfill your relationship. So a lot of times people go to therapy, you know, sometimes people look at their family and they go, my family will never never accept this person into the tribe. That happens a lot of times where there's an age difference. It happens a lot of times when um, the family has a very set idea about who you're allowed to marry, culture, you know, ethnicities. You know, there's, and that's what I'm seeing here. Your person feels as though they cannot really have this relationship with you and keep the life that they have now. So that's why we're seeing all this energy of strong desire for you. But they feel as though, for many of you, they feel as though it isn't possible that they're, you know, when pigs fly, this is the energy if you look at this card very closely, um, when pigs fly, they can have this relationship happily integrated into their life. But the karmic soul tribe also tells us that your person has issues from the past, you know, whatever the family legacy was, whatever the ancestral legacy was, they don't see you fitting into this. And or if they have traumas from childhood, those are haunting the relationship. So most of you will know this. I really feel that you know a lot about this person. You've spent a lot of time with this person. You know, you care very deeply about this person. But let me pick up the one card that fell. Yep. Oh, the Roar Shark test. Okay. So intuitively, Gemini, you really do know what the issue is. Trust your intuition on this, really do. So right now what I have is a, it's a pretty, pretty big um, puzzle to solve. And it's going to be interesting to see what's going to unfold here in the coming weeks. So that's your reading. I hope it was helpful, Gemini. Take care. Bye-bye. Sending you love.